Hello everyone, it's Mr. A here again. Um, this time we're going to take a look at some geometry. Um, today we're in chapter one, section one, and we're going to talk about points, lines, and planes. Our objectives today, identify and model points, lines, and planes. And secondly, we're going to identify intersecting lines and planes. Okay, so let's get to it. First of all, points, lines, and planes. Here's kind of the overall thing here. We'll talk through this. Um, first of all, if you notice up here, and i got to get used to this again. It's been a while since I've done this, but uh, find my pen. Here it is. Um, a point is just a location. Uh, technically, it doesn't have... Um, a shape or a size. Um, how we indicate a point in geometry is um, we just draw a little dot and we name it with a capital letter. And you see here uh, that this has the capital letter A written by it and so we would call that point A. Okay, so that's all it is. Secondly, a line, uh, it's made up of points. Okay, and so what we usually consider uh, to be a line, it has to have at least two points to make a line, as they say here, two points. Um, technically, it has no thickness or width, but we just draw it however we draw it. That's, that's what it is, but we indicate that um, with a line, and in this case, it's going through points P and points Q, and there is only one, there is exactly one line through these two points. Um, and so what we can do here now is we can name our line in a couple of different ways. First of all, you notice there's this little M here that's kind of in a cursive writing almost. Uh, we could just call it that. We could call it line M. And, and again, on the drawings that you look at, that indicates a line, a lowercase script M. Okay, so we could call that line M like they say right here, line M. We could write out the word line and then M. We could also name this line by two of the points on that line. So we have point P and point Q. So we could also name that line PQ. As you see here, line, we write out the word line, capital P, capital Q. Okay. Now, it doesn't matter what order we put these points in. If we use the two points, we could call it line QP, as you see right here. There's line QP. Now, the other thing that we can do here that you're going to see most often because it's a little bit quicker is there's this little symbol. You notice here there's a PQ and a QP and there's this little symbol above it. This symbol means that it's a line. Okay, so you notice it's a little line going across with arrows going both directions. That just like what you see here. And so that indicates it's a line. When we, when we talk about a line, that means this line it, because the arrow's here, it's going to continue on in that direction forever. On this side, this line is going to continue on forever. That's what those arrows mean. Later on, we'll talk about some things that don't necessarily have an arrow on one end or both ends, and those are different things. But for right now, a line continues on forever. Okay, that's why we have the arrows there. All right, third, a plane is a flat surface made up of points that go in all directions. And so, now this is where it gets a little tricky in geometry because we're trying this is we're talking about three dimensionally here and um, and we're representing this on a two dimensional flat surface and so it gets a little hard sometimes to show these things so uh, hang with me as we do this but basically a plane let me get something here that I can show you a plane is just a flat surface, like this piece of paper that I just picked up. That is a plane, okay? So that's what we're talking about when we talk about a plane. And how we how we show that, um, you know, on a two-dimensional surface here, is we usually draw something like this. See this blue um, kind of area here? That is considered a plane. Now we just draw it like with edges, but technically these edges, can they continue to go in every direction. Okay, so it continues on, not just where you see it. Now, in order to make a plane, what you have to have is three points. And so you notice here, three points. You have to have three points um, to make up a plane. Not, and you notice here the key is not on the same line. Okay, so if you have three points on the same line, that may not be a plane. You need, a, you need three that are not on the same line. Um, the way we name a plane... 
If you notice down here, uh, see how we had that small script M? Notice down here we have a capital script K. When you see a capital in script like that, that indicates it's a plane. So when you look at these drawings, you're going to say, oh, that's talking about this plane is called plane K. So you could over here, you could call it plane K. Write that out, plane K. Now we can also call it some other things because sometimes they don't label it as plane K, but we'll have points in the plane. And so what we can do is we can use any three points in that plane to, to, to label it, okay? And it can be in any order. So if you notice, they gave you all the orders here, B, C, D, because B, C, and D, they're in that plane. But we could also call it plane C, D, B, C, D, B. It's the same points, they're all just in different orders, and you see, can see the different orders here. But it has to be three points on the plane, but you can put it in, in any order, okay? So a little bit about points, lines, and planes. All right, types of points. Now, the first type of point that we're going to talk about points um, is called collinear. All right, now, here's the thing about geometry. Um, in algebra, a lot of things are pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of vocabulary. In geometry, there's going to be a lot of weird words that you maybe haven't heard before, and you're going to have to kind of understand what they mean, okay? So you... Uh, so pay attention to the words. As we go through geometry, pay attention to the words because the words will tell you a lot about what to do and what's going on, okay? So you may not have seen this word before, collinear, okay? This uh, is not something we use on a regular basis, but get used to, if you see this, you need to know what that means, okay? So here's what it means. Points, you have several points that lie on the same line. That's collinear. If you look at this, look at the second part of the word, linear. Oh, that means they're on the same line, okay? So you have to know that collinear means several points that are all on the same line. Okay, what's next? Non-collinear. Oh, look, it's basically the same thing, but what do they do? They put a non in front of it. What does non usually mean? Not, okay? So if it's non-collinear, then we mean, oh, hey, these are points that do not lie on the same line. Okay, so collinear on the same line, non-collinear, not on the same line. What about coplanar? Hmm, okay, well, following the same pattern that we've been doing here, um, look at the second part of this word, planar. What have we just been talking about? We've been talking about lines and planes. Okay, so this is talking about planes. And before when we had collinear, that, means they're, that meant they're on the same line. So coplanar means they're on the same plane. Okay, so you have points that are on the same plane. Okay, that's coplanar. And then of course, non-coplanar. Oh, again, here's this word non. And so what does that mean? These are points that do not lie in the same plane. Okay, so know these words. All right, moving on. All right, so number one. Example number one, let's take a look at this. Use the figure to name a line containing point K. Okay, so here's point K, and we want to name a line that contains that. Well, if you look here, there's this line drawn right here. Okay, well, how would we name that? Okay, we talked about a few ways that we could name that. First thing that we could do is, again, we could write out the word line, and then remember this little script A here? This belongs to the line. Okay, so we could call this line A. Okay, I'm going to try to line A. There we go. No, notice here's a script B. We don't, we don't call it line B. This B refers to the plane. Okay, so we don't use that letter. We could use line A. What else could we do? Well, we could do a few other things as well. Remember, since there's three points on this line, J, K, and L, we could use any two of those um, and name it with that. So we could call this uh, line JK. We could call it line JL. We could call it KJ. We could call it LJ. Um, we could call it KL, LK. Uh, a number of things. Or remember the other thing is we don't have to word, write this word line out here. We could just call it, instead of line JK, we could say JK and make this little symbol on top. We could also use that to call it line JK, okay? So a lot of different a lot of different possibilities there, are a lot of things that we can do on that. Okay, next, example two. Let's use the figure to name a plane 
notice we're naming a plane here um, containing point L. Well, where's point L? Here's point L. Um, and again, I guess maybe I should have talked about this in the last example a little bit here because it's always hard for people to look at these examples and figure out what's going on. Okay. Uh, let me, so let me, one big thing that kind of gives you an idea. Remember these are, you were talking about that these are three dimensional. Okay. Is what we're talking about here. And so again, let me get this little piece of paper that I had a second ago. And I can actually write something with a real pen, not my little fake pen. And, um, and so let's say I draw a line on here. I'm just going to kind of do this quickly, but basically what this this diagram is showing again here it's a flat piece of paper that has the line J K L on it. It's on it's lying on the plane, okay? And so that point L is sitting on the plane. Now what will happen here um, if let's see is this okay? This is a piece of paper I, I can I can wreck. Let's say that you wanted to show a line that's going through this, okay? So let's say this pen is going to be a line, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that line is going through the plane. Now it's not on the plane. It's not on the plane like this other line. It's going through it, right? Okay, can you see kind of what's happening there? That is going through the plane. That pen is going through the plane. So if we're going to show that, in our drawing here with two dimensions, here's, here's how I would show it. I'm going to make another line here going down. Okay, I'm going to try to get that out of the way. And then at this point here, let's see, I'm going to call this point, what do we got? J-K-L-M-N. I'm going to call it N. Boy, that's going to bother me if that keeps doing that. And then I'm going to make a dotted line down here. And then out here, it's going to be solid again. Okay, so what does this show? The key is this dotted line. The dotted line means that you can't see the line because it's behind the plane. It went through it. So this line here, uh, I'm going to put another point down here so I know what to call it. We had um, N and P. Okay, so line NP is going through the plane. It's not sitting on the plane. It's going through it. So this point P down here is not on the plane. It's below it, okay? So that's a key to, to looking at these diagrams. Whenever you see this dotted line, that means it's not on the plane. It's going through that. And you see the, the solid part you see on this side of the plane and the dotted part you see is below it. It's kind of hidden, okay? So just a little side note here. But getting back to our problem, uh, name a plane containing point L. So point L is sitting on the plane. So what could we call this plane? If you remember before, we could use the, the script B. So plane, we could call it plane B. But we could also call it several other things. We could call it any, remember, any three non-collinear points you can use uh, to name a plane. So I could not call this plane JKL because they're in a, they're, they're collinear. They're in the same line because there could be a lot of other planes um, that that have those three points in it. So I have to use three points that do not lie on the same line. So I could say JKM. I could call this JKM. I could call it whatever else, plane KLM. That might work. Those aren't on the same line. Um, or again, it doesn't matter. You could call this one MLK or KMJ. Uh, but basically, you cannot use JK and L would be the, the combinations that you could not use. I guess technically, since I, used, that since I added this point N here, you could use that too. Uh, if I added that, you could say JKN. Those are not on the same uh, line. Now, what you could not do, notice I added P down here, you couldn't say JKP because P is not on this plane, so you could not use that, that combination. Okay, example three. A um, couple of examples here that we're going to do real quickly. Just something in the real world and how what you would call them, a line, a plane, a point. So if we're talking about a geometric shape here, talking about a 10 by 12 patio. Okay, so remember that's going to be something maybe like this. 
you know, this is 10 feet, this is 12 feet, what would you call that? Would you call that a point? Nope. Would you call it a line? No. What is this? It's a flat surface. You would call this a plane. Okay? So think about real world things and the, the shapes that in, in uh, with what we're talking about here. All right, so next thing is um, a button on a table. Well, you got a table. I'll try to draw it best I can here. So you have a, a tabletop with some legs here. Uh, remember the dotted line? Because you can't see that back there. There's a table, more or less. I'm not an artist. But on this table, there's a little button. So what would you call that button? Did you say a point? Excellent. Okay. That is a point. And technically, you could say that's a point that is on a plane. So it is a point that's sitting on a plane, more specifically. So that is a point. Yes, good. All right, intersection of lines and planes. Okay, so the intersection of two or more geometric figures, it's the set of points that they have in common. Okay, so it's basically where those two things cross each other. Okay, so two lines, we talk about two lines, they'll intersect in a point. So an example of that, I'll just draw a few examples here. So here's a line. And here's a line. All right, so they intersect, they cross. Where do they cross? They cross right here, right where they, right in the middle here. We'll call that a point Q. How about, that's point Q. Okay, so this is an example of two lines that intersect. Where do they intersect? Just at one point. Okay, um, a line and a plane. Okay, so let's see what that would typically look like. Here's a plane, more or less. Um, and remember before my drawing there with the solid dotted line, so here's a solid line going down, and then it's dot dotted and then comes through again. Okay, so here's a plane, and here's the point. I'm going to have to try to fix that in future videos. Um, so it's going through. Remember my example? The pen going through, this is what it is. That's what's happening right there. And so where does that, where do they intersect? Where do they cross? Again, right at a point. We'll call this point B. Okay, so that would be intersecting in a point, point B. Um, I guess technically, you know, like we did before in that last example, you could have a line that's sitting on the plane, and then the intersection of that would be the whole entire line. So there are some other possibilities there as well. And then lastly, the last thing we'll talk about here are two planes. This one's a little bit harder, probably at least harder to draw. I'm going to do, do the best I can here. Um, so let's say you have one plane that goes like this. Ooh, you know what I'm going to try to do? Now I want this to come up, and I'm going to... Change the color. So let's change it to that. Okay, so now I'm going to draw another, uh, try to draw another one here as best I can. This might might be a little hard, but I'm going to do it, see what I can here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so these are two different planes, one sitting sideways, one sitting up and down. The red one's going up and down, the blue one's going sideways. Well, where did they cross? Where did they intersect? And this is going to be basically right through here. Oh, why is that not drawing? Let me try that again. Right through there. That's a line, right? Those two, where they cross, and if, if you ever want to try that, get two pieces of paper, you know, maybe cut cut a little bit of one out and put it inside of each other. You're going to see that this, whoops, this is a line where they cross. So two planes will intersect in a line. Okay, moving on. All right, so what we're going to do here, example five, we're going to draw and label a figure. Okay, now they say plane R. Okay, well, here's one thing. I just got, I'm going to put that in there already so I don't have to draw that one. Plane R, this is going to be our flat surface. That's plane R. It contains lines A, B, and D, E. And they intersect, here's the key thing, they intersect at point P, okay? So let's make two lines. Here's our first line. 
Let's call that AB. Okay, so AB is going to be the red one here. Here's, ah, darn it, I, I got to be able to have a little bit more time to make a point. A and B. Okay, so that's line AB. What I'm going to do here is now I'm going to try to get this to come up. And let's change my ink color back to blue. We're going to make another line that goes through here. This is going to be DE, so I'm going to put D on here, rats, D and E. And then it says it intersects at point P. So where do these two lines intersect? Right here, right? So this in the middle is going to be P. All right, now it says, the last thing it says, add point C on plane R so that it is not collinear non-collinear with AB or DE. So that means it cannot be on the same line as AB or DE. So we have to draw our point C somewhere that's on point R, but not on the red line or the blue line. So where could we do it? Well, a lot of places, let's just pick one. How about right here? Is that point on the blue line? Nope. Is it on the red line? Nope. Is it on plane R? Okay. So that's C. Okay. Not too bad, right? Moving on. All right, interpret drawings. This one could be a little tricky, okay? Where there's one obvious answer and there's another not so obvious. How many planes appear in this figure? Well, if you look at this, you go, oh, well, you know, first of all, this is kind of obvious, right? It's plane S, okay? So plane S, that's obvious. It's drawn here, right, the blue? Here's what's not so obvious. Remember, it takes three points to make up a plane. Well, if you look at this, it's not, the plane itself is not drawn, but there is a plane that, since we have A, B, and C, and technically D is on that plane as well, there's another plane, it's not drawn, but there is another plane that we could say here that would be, we could call plane ABC, or CBA, or ADC, any of those. So that's a little tricky because it wasn't drawn, but technically there is another plane there because there are three points, okay? Example seven, name three points that are collinear. All right, well, if you look at this, remember collinear means they're on the same line, okay? Well, if you look, here you go, okay, I got A, C. In order for uh, A and C to have, they'd have to have another point somewhere on this line. Oh, by the way, look, here's the dots that I was talking about, the dotted lines here. So that means these lines are going down through this plane in both of these situations here. Um, AC, in order to be collinear, you'd have to have another point down here somewhere. Nope. But if you go A, B, and O, oh, if you keep going on this line, D. Okay. So here we could say points A, B, and D. Okay. I don't know why that just went away. <laughs> um, points A, B, and D then are collinear. Okay. Let me see here. I think... I think this might be the last one. We'll see. Our points A, B, and C coplanar. Okay, so now again, remember this is a little tricky. They're not all on plane S, right? Only B and C are on plane S. A is sitting up above it and D is sitting down below it. But remember before when I talked about plane A, B, C was that other plane that wasn't drawn here, but it made, you know, but it had these points in it because these are all, um, basically they're all on the same plane, but they're not on plane S. So yes, so we would have to say here, yes, um, A, B, C, and D are coplanar. They would lie on plane A, B, C. That's the other plane that, that wasn't drawn, but is there. It's just not drawn. Um, it's a, you know, like I said, if plane S was this flat surface, there'd be another plane drawn through those points that would go like this down, cut down through it. Okay, I believe that's it. Let's see. Oh, no, it looks like we got one more. Uh, at what point uh, do line DB and CA intersect? And so you look at, well, where's DB? Here's D and B, D and B. So that means they're talking about this line that goes up here. And CA, here's CA. That's this line that goes through here. So where do they intersect? Where do they cross? They cross right here at point A. And so, like, if they would have given us something else, if they would have said line AC, 
Here's AC and BC. AC and BC would cross at what? Point C. Okay, so pretty easy. And that's it. So that's the end of lesson one. Hey, appreciate you guys being here. Um, and I'll talk to you next time. Mr. Anderson, signing off.